Jackson Terriers. And the referee gets a speed up. That's going to be hopefully the pinnacle of the start of the season up to now. It's going to go on to the attack straight away with Gary Day. Straight away, it was a penalty. Oh, it's doing this. Can't believe that's just happened. We played 20 seconds of the game. Now, this is where I would and then he carried it. He took a penalty last week. And he moved it. In fact, he moved it that high. Seconds of the game gone. Gary Day strikes the ball. Ten is in. in. Gary's not going to make a mistake this time.
with Chris Armstrong in the thick of the action. Head there, one goes as far as Robinson across the halfway line, and that's a fantastic ball. Oh, 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 and he's oh, going to make it three. Oh, 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 come on, Ryan. Oh, 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 Disappointed by Ryan McGordon there, but he will come for it. He'll stick another two or three in the back of the net, but it's and back on the attack. Again, it took the feet. And Connor Andrews plays a lovely ball in, and the ball is in the back of the net. And Connor Andrews played what seemed like an inch perfect attempt there, man. You signs from Bennington that this is not over, man. You like Ryan McGordon on the right hand side. What a He should have beaten the ball. Man, In the ball floats. Oh, that's a ball. Skims the head. Just a good ball. It was a excellent ball. In it comes. Oh, oh, oh. Samuel Norris Coppins from here, Shirley, and he scored! He scored, my dear. It started with Ian Herron. Now, uh, for a few seconds, a bit of a On 106.6, he's more fun than for the second half of what Paul going to be an extraordinary. corner kick to AFC in its wings. Swings it into the box where it needed to be done. That was a great cross. Josh Miller forced to defend it. Oh, it's 
Bevington is good. Oh, oh, I thought it was funny. Yeah. 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 First time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mick, three points in the bag after a frustrating couple of weeks. Just how satisfied are you, are you with that result and the performance? Um, derby game, uh, a win, but a win's a win. We knew it was going to be difficult. Uh, I've just said there before, they've improved their team massively from last season. So we knew it was going to be a hard game. Very, 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 very like uh, excited with the new formation, how we, we've changed things around. Um, we went back to basics. I think we could have been five or six up before they had an opportunity. Uh, we've missed some really guilt edge opportunities. But you know what, to get a penalty after 35 seconds is absolutely brilliant for us. And it just, it just it set the tempo for a very good first 30 minutes. I thought they were the better team last 15 minutes, second half, first half. Uh, second half was a little bit of a, a non event, so to speak. You know, we, we've never really created anything, they've created nothing. Um, so, a lot to work on, but highly satisfied with three points. And on the, the formation switch and, and change around, Mick, was that a conscious decision based on the last couple of results? Yeah, yeah I think Andy came across with one. I had one, Andy had one. Uh, we just went back to basics. Our feelings our feelings in the whole lot was that we, we, we've been playing quite a complex formation and some of the players aren't getting it. So what we thought today was we'd go back to basics and we'll see how, how we do against against the Bedlington team that we knew would be very direct. Um, and I'd say we played, but you know Ryan's had opportunities. He's absolutely roasted the fullback. He had nightmares about Ryan tonight. Uh, first half, absolutely brilliant. Uh, Bobby Taylor, good first half. Uh, two centre forwards, excellent. Good movement, good good work rate. We've had to take Gary off there. He's got illness. He's, he's taken the 60 minutes. Um, just just happy. And it's like, as Boz has said. It doesn't matter how we win a game now, it's just winning a game and carrying a little bit of luck. Maybe we, you know, we haven't carried luck, they've had one opportunity, that's all they've had, and uh, we've, 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 done well. we've done well. You certainly looked, looked, looked more compact and solid yeah. throughout the game. Defensively as well, maybe that might have been one of your downsides in the last couple yeah. of games, yeah. creating plenty of chances, but maybe he's a little shaky at the back. Do you think the formation was testament yeah. to that? Yeah, yeah, I just think, you know, Gilly's went and sat in front of the back four, he's protected it. Uh, Stevie Little, Mighty Tumulty, superb again. You know, like you know, like, you, we can think a lot about the West Allotment game. I thought it was very disappointing the result, but defensively we're, we're playing pretty well. You know, you look at two games, we've probably given the opposition two opportunities. Uh, problem is they've scored both opportunities, but you know, like, you've got to take a lot of positives out of it. How we how we're defending now, we're working hard for each other. Uh, big week for us, trade Wednesday. Uh, hopefully, have a couple of lads back, a couple missing today. Uh, Mickey T, great credit to him. Yes, it's nine o'clock this morning doing one on ones with their dog just to get back in the back in the groove of things. Hopefully we'll have Lee back next week, Mickey back, Ben Richardson back. Um, we've got Sean um, Ryan McGorrigan's missing now for a week, which would be a big miss for us, but other players have to step up. But very, very, very happy. Borza's the release of relief in Borza's face as well tells tells it all. You know, it means so much to us. And um, just just to go and put a performance in. First half brilliant, second half. 
not good, not not at all star lads, but you know we've won the game. And what of that penalty, Mick? We we timed it at 15 seconds. Have you ever Brilliant. 15 seconds? Have you ever experienced a goal as early as uh, that in your career? No, I think that's the earliest. I think we played Bedlington here on Boxing Day, and I think we were two 0 up after about five minutes. I think uh, Conor Andrews got two early goals for us, uh, but that was about a minute and a half. I think was timed at. Um, but. Uh, it, it just sets the tone, doesn't it? it? It gives the lads a bit of a confidence. And you've seen how they've celebrated. Every single player has been around yeah. Gary there. And that, that's what it's all about. We're trying to build something. We've got a lot of new players. Players need to build, come into the philosophy. But, you know, I'm just I'm just really, really happy because it is black bragging rights. And Terriers, like I say, are a much improved team from last year. And uh, to, get, to go get the three points, great. We'll see them again boxing day. Well, you're back to winning ways, finally, Mick. So how confident now, finally, are you that you can go on and kick on and put a run um, together? I think everybody in the league is beating everybody. You've got Heaton Stan, who I had as one of the favourites. I've drawn all their games so far. Anik, uh, Richie Mitch has done a great, great job there. He's improved the team. Everybody's improved the teams. So instead of last year, we came out of August and we're like 12 points behind the leaders. We're probably going to come out with five or six points behind the leaders, which is good, you know. And we're third bottom at one stage. Like now, we're like, we're probably, what, sixth or seventh, eighth? Ten points now. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, 11, it's 11 points yeah, we've points. got. So it's like, it's a, it's a good, we wanted 14. I must, I must admit, we wanted two points a game coming out of August. We've had 11. Disappointing, yeah. We, I think we could have won two or three more games, but uh, it's a good start. Good start. We're going to another hard month. Keep the stand. They'll be desperate because that's always a big game for us um, with, the, with the battles we've had over the years. So, yeah, we, we, we can go, go and turn the stand over. We are now, we will be back in it, which would be great for us. Well done, Mick. Thank you very much.